passed since hundreds of Omahans were kicked out of their homes and told it was not safe to return. Just before Christmas last year, the city condemned legacy crossing apartments in northwest Omaha. Yeah, tonight, Bella Karakta joins us in the studio. And Bella, you spoke with someone who lived there and someone who helped her find a new home. How are they doing now? John, for some, the memory of being displaced from their home a year ago is still vivid. And for those helping in the aftermath, it's a reminder of how a strained affordable housing market only gets worse in a situation like this. Thank uh, God for the apartment I'm staying in, you know, but every day, you know, I think about that. December 19th, 2022. It's the day that Delphine Newsom and 387 other people became homeless with just a knock on their front doors. I know it was on a Monday and I went out there, it was snowing and raining, the wind was blowing and everything. She lived in the complex for four years. I ain't never been through nothing like that and stuff. It had me scratched out and everything. I thought I was gonna never find no place or nothing. But she did, three miles south. Yeah, I liked it here where I'm, I'm at now. She thanks the community for that. Donated U-Haul rentals and boxes, hot meals from hy V, and help finding housing. That really was an all hands on deck situation. Heartland Family Service led the rehousing process for legacy crossing tenants. It's hard to believe that it's been a year. She says this is the single largest project to her memory that the nonprofit worked on, helping 97% of the households displaced. This is something that you can plan for to an extent, um, but it, your plan has to be pretty comprehensive. For Delphine, she hopes it's a plan she won't need again. I love it here, and I hope this will never happen to me again. This ain't never happened to me, because it'll scratch anybody out. Now, Heartland Family Service says this event underscores the need for quality affordable housing where the situation doesn't deteriorate to the point where Legacy Crossing did. In this event, they spent a little more than $8,000 to rehouse each unit. They tell me it costs an average of $1,500 to keep a family in a home through preventative services. Reporting live in the studio, Bella Karakta, 6 News. Thanks, Bella.